A surface of revolution is a three-dimensional surface, like a vase or a bell. For these problems, you divide the surface into narrow circular bands, figure the surface area of a representative band, and then add the areas of all the bands. Take a look at this example. What's the surface of a representative band? If you cut the band and unroll it, you get sort of a long, narrow rectangle whose area, of course, is length times width. The rectangle wraps around the whole circular surface, so its length is the circumference of the circular cross-section, or 2 pi r, where r is the height of the function. The band's width is the same as the length of the infinitesimal hypotenuse you use to figure arc length, namely, the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared times dx. So, the surface area of a representative band, from length times width, is 2 pi r times the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared times dx. Which brings you to the formula. The surface of revolution is generated by revolving a function, y equals the f of x, around an axis. The surface of revolution has a surface area, between a and b along the axis. If the axis of revolution is the x-axis, r equals the f of x. If the axis of revolution is some other line, like y equals 5, it's a bit more complicated. Try one. What's the surface area between x equals 1 and x equals 2 of the surface generated by revolving y equals x to the third power around the x-axis? Break it down. First, take the derivative of your function. y equals x to the third power dy over dx equals 3x squared. You can finish the problem by plugging everything into the formula, but you want to do it step by step to reinforce the idea that whenever you integrate, you write down a representative. That's the integrand. And then you add up all the little bits by integrating. Next, figure the surface area of a representative narrow band. The radius of the band is x to the third power, so its circumference is 2 pi x to the third power. That's the band's length. Its width, a tiny hypotenuse, is the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared times dx, which equals the square root of 1 plus 3x squared squared times dx. And its area, length times width, is 2 pi x to the third power, times the square root of 1 plus 3x squared squared times dx. Now, add up the areas of all the bands from 1 to 2 by integrating. The 36 is the tweak amount for the u substitution. Tweak is just a fancy way of saying adjusting the constraints to fit. With u equals 1 plus 9x to the fourth power, du equals 36x to the third power dx. When x equals 1, u equals 10. When x equals 2, u equals 145. With these steps, you can solve problems just like these in the future.